my life on the X list. Hey there, what's up, YouTube? It's me, the Diva X, and it is March 21st, 2015, at 11.26 in the p.m. Welcome to another edition, or another long-awaited edition of My Life on the X List. Um, what's up, what's up, what's up? Okay, so last time I posted a video was January 11th, and that was some time ago, and, um... There's a few reasons why I did, haven't did any videos, but and uh, excuses is what they are. But um, as you guys all know, it's anniversary season, and so I'm gonna say I'm gonna say as you guys all know, but most of you guys know. Hopefully, the people who are watching know that this bitch gets into anniversary mode come around this time because today, as of today, the anniversary show is in five days. So yeah. When I get into the anniversary mode, I become slightly more crazy. Um, and actually, it's funny because this time I'm not as crazy about um, the anniversary. Like crazy, like fanatic, like um, um, like worrying, stressing, all that fun stuff um, that goes with it. Because I feel like I have this... Last year was a little different because there were so many moving pieces, moving elements, like as far as people. Um, there was a lot of performers, a lot of in, uh, needs for it, a lot of different people, and just really a, a lot of drama, if you will. Not really like drama like, oh, everyone wanted to fight each other, but just like stuff that really shouldn't have been dealt with uh during anniversary season um and so um it is it, it is not that this year um i feel like everything that i have visioned and planned for this year has worked out or is working out accordingly as of as it is up until now um so i can't really um be upset i'm not really stressed i'm not really um I figure whatever will happen will happen come the night. Um, everything up until now is aligned, and that's really all I can do. Um, you can prep and prep and prep until um, the events, and hopefully it all works out. And so um, five days away to the big day, and we're super excited. Um, we have a, I don't want to, I don't, I always start kind of slipping information out as when I start talking about what we got going on. So I'm not going to really go into depth, but, um, we do have, um, um, we have some stuff planned for you. Um, and so I'm super excited. And of course, obviously, um, the Exotica show is my baby, my 11 year old baby. And I do get emotional about this time all the time as well. Um, and this time I, I feel like very, um, emotional as well, but like there's so much going on right now. Like, uh, as far as just like leading up to that, I just really am like very. I've been very like today was just a music day for me. I I had a few uh, graphics and stuff I had to put together for the show, so you know I just had my music on literally all day from day start to finish. Uh, did some laundry. You can see my IKEA bag back here. Those are the best laundry bags ever. I swear. Um, so yeah, it's laundry day over over here, and so I I had a. It was just a, a very day, um, and then I had a little bit of rehearsal um, in the eve not the evening, but in the later portion of the afternoon, and just got to hang out with Jeff and um, just kind of reflect on the show and um, some of the other uh, elements of the show, and so um, it's been a pretty good day and a pretty good time leading up to the anniversary. Um, there's still a lot that I have to do for myself as far as finishing up, finishing touches for my costumes, um, just because I work best under pressure, so like, that's just how I roll. <laughs> um, I, I really, I feel like I do my best work under that pressure. I have everything, and, and I feel like I say this every time that I'm working on uh, a new production or a new project or a new outfit or whatever I'm working on. I gather everything that I'm going to need and then just like sit in it and then make it happen. So I have all the elements of my um, performance and, and all that fun stuff, but I just need to now make it come alive. So in other news, um, I'm going to get back to the anniversary, but um, let's talk about it because I warned you guys about it. I'm sure January 11th and everything up until um, January 11th was the Rebel Heart takeover from Madonna because you know what? 
bitch, she's Madonna. And um, talking about Madonna, I mean, can she get any more flawless? Like, I mean, I understand she's up there in age and all this bullshit about people boycotting her truck, uh, like radio stations boycotting her because of her age and stuff like that. It's total nonsense. And I totally, it's totally horrible that, that that's a thing because, um... I do believe that um, music is, regardless of how old the person is, um, I, I, I feel like the music is still good. I mean, well, this, and this album, I mean, this is just for general. Um, this is, I'm, when I say this, I'm not talking about just about Madonna, but, I mean, we look like at Cher, we look at Tina Turner, um, even Celine Dion. I mean, she's not up there, well, she's up there. I mean, she's up there in age. I mean, when Houston... Just because they get a certain age does not mean they're not, um, I mean, they might not be your market, but that doesn't mean that the music is not uh, relevant or interesting to those people who might listen to your channel. So the fact that people were boy or banning the track because of her age, it just kind of was like, oh, that sucks. Um, but that's, I mean, it is what it is. But the album, Rebel Heart, the official edition, um, is super duper amazing. It's getting great reviews by, I mean, just about every... I haven't really read any bad reviews. I think there's um, a, a few reviews that, you know, talk about certain songs um, and just kind of do we want to hear about certain things from certain people, again, with, at a certain age. Um, but, okay. But it, they're not saying that the shit's crap. It's um, that the tracks are crap. They're just saying, do we want to? And, um, you know, I, I feel... No, we don't, but not all the time. <laughs> you know, we don't always have to have that, but I feel like it's done well. It's done tasteful. It's done with innuendo. Uh, innuendo? 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 I don't know. It's one of the two. Um, but it's done well and with tact, and I feel like she has an amazing album on her hands. Um, I've said it in, uh, in, on my Facebook, and I might have mentioned it before, but I really feel like this is one of her best pieces of work since, um, ray of light now again someone went to what about confessions okay confessions was just a dance album like no offense like it's not that it wasn't good it was just like to me it was a dance album you she wanted everyone to dance and so she made an album that was going to make people dance there wasn't the the emotional connection in the in the in the tracks and i mean i don't i don't doubt that she just wrote tracks that she just you know just wanted to write um i'm sure there was some kind of connection but you can tell um the the feelings were there but the emotions are present in this new album um if you have not had the opportunity to check out rebel hearts Get yourself a copy. Um, you can get it on iTunes. You can get um, the Super Deluxe. You can get the Deluxe. You can get the Standard Edition. I don't care. Um, a lot of the, some of the tracks, um, I believe all the tracks, might be loaded on her YouTube page, um, her performance. Um, she took over Ellen this past week. Um, for whatever reason, they didn't show the last two days of the Ellen show because um, of, I, I didn't know why until today I found out that it was because of fucking basketball, um, college basketball. No offense to the college basketball people in the house, but put my fucking Madonna on, okay? Uh, so, yeah, there's that. And so... Um, I told you guys that the album's gonna drop, the tour is gonna announce, and the shit's gonna be on sale. I told you get your coins ready, and I warned you in advance. If you did not do so, you were probably not sitting in the arena where you want to be sitting. I, for one, am sitting where I want to be sitting. Um, I really, uh, we had discussed buying some VIP tickets um, to get as centered as possible with the Madonna Rebel Heart Tour. Uh, she has an amazing stage set up that has like a catwalk with like a cross and it, it's just super, it's it, it's super, it's going to be good. And so I, we had made, uh, me and Malibu had made some plans to, uh, you know, get the catwalk tickets and, or runway tickets, excuse me, the runway tickets and really be all up in it. And so... Um, tickets go on sale. Those runway tickets are slightly overpriced. Um, I think all the tickets were overpriced. Let's call it what it is. However, it is Madonna. It is going to be an amazing show, and it's totally worth the money. Um, so when I say they're overpriced, yes, when you look at them, however, comma, you get what you pay for. And hello, you get to say you've experienced a Madonna concert. Um, and, I mean, it's totally worth it. I guarantee you will not be disappointed. Um, so... Yeah, um, we 
did not get the <laughs> that VIP uh, runway package, um, but that's okay. We ended up getting really good seats along the runway, um, a little bit further back, um, actually c near closer to the end of the run or the runway. Yeah, the end of the runway, the heart part. So right where the runway becomes the heart is where we're sitting, uh, like seat one and two, like against the 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 catwalk. Um, and so um, it's just, it's very reminiscent of. Uh, um, the confession store here in Fresno, because granted we were sitting in the front row that those very seats, but now we're a little bit further back, which bitch, I am not complaining. Let me tell you. Um, so I'm super excited about that because <sighs> bitch, it's Madonna. And I, I just, I get so overwhelmed when it comes to Madonna. Um, and I knew all this stuff was going to happen. And actually the thing was she even released the tickets before the album even dropped. Like, I mean, granted some of the tracks were released, um, in advance based off of your pre-order and stuff like that because the shit got leaked. Um, however, comma, she flipping put the, <laughs> the, 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 I can't even talk. She put the tickets on sale before their album even dro officially dropped. And, um, and here we go. So Rebel Heart Tour, Canon Week, super excited. Um, that's really all that's been going on. I've really just kind of been in my zone in the anniversary zone, being tranquil with one that is getting ready for an anniversary show. Um, and, you know, this is it. Um, this is the week of it. So, if you have no plans, or uh, maybe your plan is already made, um, which it should be, because uh, I've been telling you guys about this forever, for the past 11 years. And if you don't got plans next year, 2016, last week in March, Exotica Show, 12 year anniversary? Oh, yeah. So, yeah, mark your calendar. You've now been informed a year in advance. Get into it. And uh, if mm, this Thursday, Club Legends, House of Exotica 2015, the 11 year anniversary, all nine Exotic Royal team members taking the stage, bringing you in a I'm going to graze, I was going to say a grazing show, an amazing, great show. And I'll be there and I'll be performing. And if, yeah, so. I'm going to say a few numbers, but that's not true. Um, well, kind of it is, but you'll see. <laughs> so, yes, X marks the spot. You know where to be. You know where to find me right here every now and again. Um, but follow me, like me, share me, be me. Or no, don't be me, but be, um, be, be, just be. CK1, be. Um, but, yeah, back to anniversary, be there. March 26th, Club Legends, show starts at midnight. Be there. Be there. Uh, red carpet starts at 10. Um, yeah. It's happening, bitches. Come on down. All right. See you then. Thanks for showing up. Thanks for showing up. Five, six, seven, eight. Round one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight.